Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am sitting on the floor because my dog won't let me sit in the chair. Fred! Lay down. Lay down so I can make my video, okay? So it's five tips that you can always live by. Um, if You can even jot this down, make it easy. So if you ever feel like you're getting off track, you can get back on track and um, just really stay focused. So I'm going to share all five with you. So if you want to write them down and then you can take some notes um, and just kind of use some advice that's helped me um, over the past years. And it's just from my own experience. So you don't have to listen to it. You can, but for real, like five tips. So the five tips is one, nutrition, like nutrition, two, exercise, three, sleep, four, water, and five, supplementation. So I'm going to start with nutrition. I probably forgot my order, but I'm going to start with nutrition. If you are not eating the right amount of calories for yourself um, and eating properly, you are going to not get the results you want. If you eat correct Monday through Friday, but then Saturday, Sunday, you're pigging out, doubling your calorie intake, you're pretty much just doing all that work Monday through Friday for no reason because you've just like inhaled all the calories that you've been cutting all week. So consistency is key. Like you have to do everything Monday through Sunday. Now that doesn't mean you have to eat super strict and you can't even enjoy life, but you know, you can enjoy like a good treat meal or um, like if you're going out for a birthday party, you know, have a slice of cake, do something, it's moderation, but don't go and eat like five, six cupcakes and then go eat a handful of candy from the candy jar and have chips and nachos and queso and like all these different things. Like you can enjoy yourself, but you don't have to pig out all day. You have to have a good relationship with food and by slowly just working on having that good relationship, you won't feel guilty because you should never feel guilty of eating something or not eating something like it should all be it should all make you happy so you should eat right because you want to and it tastes good and when you have a treat you enjoy that treat you don't regret it um it doesn't make you feel worse afterwards like you deserve that treat you know but don't go and eat like 20 cookies and go okay i hate myself like you yeah you might hate yourself but learn from that and get better. Like you are in control of every choice that you make. And if you continue to hate yourself or feel guilty, like do something about it. So have good nutrition, stay on track. And um, a good thing to think about is you want to eat every two to three hours. So having a protein source, a carb source, a fat source, but protein is so important every two to three hours because it helps keep your body anabolic. So if you don't know what anabolic means, that means your body is in a muscle building state and fat burning state. So if you aren't eating for, you know, four or five, six hours, your body turns catabolic. So it's, it's thinking, oh my gosh, I have nothing to eat. It's going to store what it can because it's all about fight or flight. Like it needs to survive. So if it knows it hasn't eaten for like a long time, it's going to store that for energy later. So it stores as fat and burns muscle mass, which is the one thing that your body can let go of. If your body has more muscle mass, you increase your metabolism, which means you can even eat more food eventually um, and, and have a more comfortable caloric intake every day. But if you're having more muscle mass, your body's burning more calories, that potentially means more fat loss. So yes, proper nutrition. So number two is exercise. You want to have a good steady, just you don't do anything complicated, just staying consistent with your plan. So I always recommend four to five days of weight training for 45 minutes to an hour. So if you do six days a week, that's awesome, but you also want to recover so your bodies can heal and recover and repair and your body can just take a break from all the stresses you get from exercise. So um, a good like four to five weight training days and two cardio days for good cardiovascular and heart health. Um, your cardio does not have to be an hour long or anything crazy. Um, I know everybody has different plans, but if you're just looking for overall health, just two cardio sessions for 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. Um, if you like going for a run, go for a run. If you'd like to go to the gym, do stationary machines or hit cardio, stuff like that. But don't have to do anything crazy. Just stay consistent and be healthy. So number three, I think I said sleep. So when you sleep, your cortisol levels 
decrease. So you want them to decrease because overall our whole bodies are stress from work and life and you know kids or animals in the gym and um, just so many different things that our cortisol levels rise and that can store fat. So when you sleep your body is fully recovering. Um, it's repairing your muscles and it's helping you feel better the next day. So you want to get proper sleep. Number four would be water. So a lot of people don't realize how much water actually helps and I know it sounds crazy because so many people and if you're watching this, you're probably like this too, but so many people say, I don't like the taste of water. Like, water doesn't have taste. Like, you can add flavor to it, make it more exciting. Like, that's what they make. They have, like, additives that you can put in water. Um, but water is to help your body function properly. So, if you haven't been drinking water for, like, months or even years, like, I've gone a long time before not drinking water ever, and I was, like, very athletic and did so many different sports. And I was, I passed out a lot. I was dehydrated. Um, it was very unhealthy. And I don't think pe people underestimate the power of water. Like it's so simple. It can help just basic function of your body. It can help with hunger and cravings. You know, your body might be craving a food, but in reality, it's dehydrated. It wants water. Um, water helps you sleep better. Water helps your stress levels. Water helps your skin, your overall health, um, it helped my skin clear up a lot, just drinking water, it's crazy. Um, but water is so important for overall health, and if you are saying you don't like water, it's because you don't have it in your routine. So the more you consume something, the more you crave it. So if you're eating donuts all the time, you're gonna crave donuts all the time. If you eat salads or healthy foods or drink water, like your body will crave that. So work on drinking more water. So number five, Number five is supplementation. Everybody always gets all like, oh no, supplements, but supplement can be a multivitamin. Like a multivitamin is okay, you know? Um, you don't have to do anything crazy, but the point is supplements are there to supplement things in your diet that you don't get from whole foods. So number one is nutrition. If you're not eating enough vegetables, if you're not eating enough fruits, um, if you're not getting the right micronutrients and macronutrients and different things like that, you want to supplement in your diet proper micronutrients like a multivitamin or a fish oil and I won't get into detail with like what you should take because you want to take something that's going to help your body function so so many people skip steps one two and three and they just jump to all these fat burners and pre-workouts and all these things that are like unnecessary but then they don't even take a multivitamin like do the first steps do these five tips and then you can expand into more supplementation or different workouts or you know who knows what I'm just sharing with you just the simple things that you can do don't overcomplicate it um, so with these five things so nutrition exercise sleep water supplementation all those things work together to create a proper plan for you and get you successful in your weight loss journey your muscle building your overall health whatever it is your goal is it can benefit anybody with just doing those five things so Instead of going, holy crap, I do none of those things, like where do I even begin? I would say start with one, and once you get your nutrition down, focus on two. Once you start getting exercise in, even if it's one day a week, if it's two days a week, like whatever it is, it's improvement, it's progress. That's what matters, it's making progress and being a better version of you, and just making habits of it. Like everything has to be a habit. So if you focus on one at a time and work your way from one through five, you can then create a habit for each one and all of a sudden it's not so overwhelming. You're doing baby steps, you're making a habit, it becomes normal and it's not so scary and all of a sudden you'll realize, wow, I'm doing all these things and look at my results. So none of these steps are complicated and it's, it's really just, are you going to stick to it? Are you gonna create the habit? And if you try and do all five at once, it's, it's not attainable because you, you just get overwhelmed and it's a struggle and I was like that before like I read all this stuff on the internet that I need all these things and I start freaking out and I'm just like well dang I don't even want to do any of this at all so it I get the struggle I get the stress it's very overwhelming but these five things will help you on your fitness journey focus like I said focus on one thing at a time build a habit if you really want to focus on water first do water first and then you know, if you realize you're getting like really, really poor sleep and that's affecting your nutrition and your exercise, do start focusing on your sleep. Change up the order, but do it in the right way that's going to benefit you with your schedule and balance life and your health and just create those habits that you can obtain for a long time 
and not for the short term. Like you have to put in the work and you have to stay focused and you have to be consistent. But you also have to enjoy life. So um, that's all I'm going to say today. I have my information below as well. If you've never seen it, um, if you just drop down the little arrow, it'll show all my information. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so I just wanted to share that because if any of you guys watching has questions, I'm here to help you. Like, even if it's a simple question of how do I get better sleep? Um, what kind of workout should I do? How should I balance my meals out? I want to help spread that knowledge for you guys. Because I don't just tell people what to do. I educate them so that they can learn that and incorporate it in their own lives. Because we all have different lives. We all have different uh, lifestyles. And, um, you know, what works for me might not work for you, but you could take the advice, take the information and fit it into your life and be successful. So, um, that's all I have for you today. So that is all I have today. Just wanted to motivate you guys and let you know that the fitness journey is not so scary and to take it one day at a time, one action at a time and really focus on one of the five tips at a time so that you can build those habits and, do it for the long term and don't stress it. So have an awesome week and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.